guys welcome back to the channel we're gonna do a little something today something a little crazy but as you can hear I've got the uh, hydronic heater on and rusty here just to warm them up we're gonna be doing a little bit of uh, experiment today but first I want to open up the uh, differential box and check it and inspect it and make sure everything inside of there is good since yesterday we replaced the pinion seal and um, got it set up to a point where I think it's gonna work and then we're gonna do something a little crazy let me show you so in my thought process I want to figure out a way that I can test the snowcat without driving the snowcat anywhere because every time we go out I constantly have to worry about what's happening and what's going on and whatnot. I want to be able to drive the snowcat without driving the snowcat. So I came up with an idea. I want to say it's a dyno, but it's not really a dyno because we're not testing the horsepower or the speed or the torque or anything like that. But what we will be testing is the functions of the transmission and the differential and the seals. Uh, I'm going to try to create a test and tune stand or a dyno if you want but it'd be a free air dyno and i'm not going to tell you anything i'm just going to show you so let's get started all right guys i think we've achieved something there is light <laughs> on that side on this side just barely clearing the floor how well you guys are going to be able to see this but I'm going to try to show you as best I can what we're looking at here is the wear pattern on the ring and what you want to look for it's my understanding what you want to look for now I'm not an expert on this come on Mike work with me I guess that'll work. Go. Um, so you're basically you're looking at this for a wear pattern and what you don't want is the wear pattern all the way out to the edge or all the way into the center. You basically want the wear pattern centered in here that way you know that you have correct backlash. I'm going to spin this around so you guys can kind of see how this operates. There's something I am unsure of. There's something I am unsure of, and maybe you can comment, leave a comment down in the comment section there, is watch the pinion when I go from forward to reverse. It has just the tiniest bit of play forward and back. So going that way, and then we come back. come back you see how it moved forward just a hair and back just a hair so whatever gear see how it came back and forward back forward Let's see if I can get in there closer so you can see that so watch this how it moves forward and backwards just the hair now none of the bearings in there are bad like they're all good none of them are crushed or scarred or anything like that that I can tell so I'm gonna assume that that amount of play is okay because the wear pattern on the ring and the pinion looks good so you can see it a little bit better here whole lighting situation is ridiculous 
<laughs> so here you go. This is a good example. This one has a wear pattern that starts right about here and then goes inward. So that's good. That's what you want to look for. Anyhow, I thought I'd show that to you guys here before I put the lid back on, but as far as everything goes in here, it looks good. Um, the fluid in here, if you could see, it's kind of dark. That's because of the brake bands. These are a metallic fiber brake band. So as you use those, the fluid is obviously going to get darker. So it's nothing to be alarmed at. It's something that really freaked me out the first time. But I've filled this, driven it, and then we've dumped it again so that we can get a uh, basically flush a good flush because all the fluid that was in here previously sat in there for I don't know over 20 years and it was all gummy and tarry so it's going to take a few more seasonal uh, oil changes to get the, the rest of that out but I don't see any big chunks um, if I did they'd be all over that magnet right there there's and there's just the tiniest amount of fuzz on it which is normal so we're looking good inside the drop box here. This is either gonna fail really bad or work really good. I'm not sure which.
right guys I ran the cat for probably about I don't know 15 minutes uh, forward in third gear and then every five minutes I'd stop it and reverse it for about a minute um, and I'm not able to get any oil to come out of there so fingers crossed that problem is fixed this uh, setup is a really good idea for if you're a snowcat owner and you can't figure out what's going on and you're having some problems this is a great diagnosis tool if you've got four jack stands comes in pretty handy it sketches heck but you know what it worked and that's all that matters you just got to make sure you got your hand on the shifter and your foot on the brake ready to uh, utilize those in case something happens. So I'm going to get the cat back on the floor here off of the jack stands. All right, guys, we've gone over all of uh, Rusty's major systems. Uh, in yesterday's video, we checked the transmission fluid and topped that off. And... What else did we do yesterday? I can't remember anything I did yesterday. <laughs> Anyhow, you'll have to go back and check that video out. Um, today we took the lid off the bucket on the differential. I checked the wear pattern on the uh, ring and pinion, which was a thumbs up, looked good. Um, oh yeah, we did the pinion seal leak uh, fix yesterday. Uh, Ran rusty for about 15 minutes in both forward and reverse trying to recreate that leak today And we couldn't couldn't replicate it. Let's put it that way So I'm sure on the trail It'll be a little bit different But for testing purposes, I'm pretty happy with that um, And yeah, and we set up a uh, test and tune stand or a snowcat dyno or whatever you want to call it to uh, try and replicate those issues that we were having. But other than that, I think that's probably going to be it for today, guys. If you like this episode, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed yet, we'd love to have you as a subscriber. And stay tuned. Remember, we're, we are replacing the fuel injectors either uh, this week or this next weekend coming up. As soon as they get here, I'm going to get those uh, installed. And we'll do a comparison of the engine sounds from how it is now to how it's going to be forever. <laughs> Until something breaks, obviously, uh, with the new injectors in. But other than that, I hope you guys are taking care of each other, staying safe. And as always, I'll catch you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.